Hey everyone, welcome back to another Story Corner video. I just have to say I'm sorry for the bad quality and everything. Um, like I've said before in other videos, my phone isn't doing long videos. Like it, it'll only do like maybe two, maybe three minutes long, if that. Um, and then my camera's missing somewhere, and then I also don't know where my owl is. I rearranged a bunch of stuff and stuff is out of place and now I'm trying to find everything and it's not working. Not well, but I'll get there. Anyway, today's story is written by my friend Jalisa and this one is called I Promise. If you were my rose, then I'd be your son. Painting you rainbows when the rains come. I'd change my orbit to banish the night, as to keep you in my nurturing light. If you were my world, then I'd be your moon, your silent protector, the night light in the gloom. Our fates intertwine, two bodies in motion, through time and space our dance of devotion. If you were my island, I'd be your sea, caressing your shores, soft and gentle I'll be. My title entrance would leave gifts on your sands. No, my title embrace would gifts would leave gifts on your sands. I'm sorry. I I saw a completely different word than I was reading. <coughs> but by currents and storm I'd ward your gentle lands. If you were love's promise that I would be time, your consistent companion to stars align. And though we were mere mortals, true love is divine, and my devotion eternal to my one valentine. She seems to do a lot of love related, uh, love and loyalty and just sweet things like that on her stories and her little poems i just love that about her she she no matter what she does no matter what she's going through or whatever if she can feel and see the love in everything and it's always always something different and that's what surprises me about it because i i can never think of something that like the same subject or the same tone or thought or concept and write two completely different things. It's always something similar. And that's what I just like about her. I, I just love how she can do that. I wish I could come up with writings that good. I just don't know if I can. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Time for today's prompt. And I'm not sure if this will be before or after the story that I just read earlier. Because I don't know, like, how the order will be when I post these. But I, I read a story earlier say, uh, called um, Every Moment. And that prompt was something to do about someone pulling an all-nighter. So I feel like this prompt kind of um, goes along with that. So if you want, if you want, you can totally combine both prompts if they coincide because i mean it would make sense i mean someone's pulling an all-nighter so obviously they would be saying i can't sleep <laughs> for whatever reason that they have and so <clears throat> so like before i want to hear your your thoughts on the story in the comments I want to uh, read your stories for future videos in my uh, email, which is sarahsstorycorner.com. 
uh, at gmail.com. That'll also be in, in, um, in the description below. Uh, if you liked it, then hit the like button. If you disliked it, then hit the dislike button, which I hope you didn't dislike it, you know? Um, lost a train of thought. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any notifications and subscribe so you see everything of my content. And I hope to see you guys again soon, and I hope... I will be able to read stories in the future. Thank you, and bye!